Given the functions f of x equals x squared minus 3 and g of x equals 2x, these are the same functions found in example 2, find each composite function. In part a, we'll derive m of x equals f of g of x. Set up the workspace. We write f of g of x using regular function notation. Replace g of x with 2x. Before we continue, we need to evaluate f at 2x. We know that f of x equals x squared minus 3. So f at 2x equals 2x squared minus 3. The result is 4x squared minus 3. The answer is m of x equals 4x squared minus 3. We can also use a quick method to find the composite function. f of g of x means plug g into f. Rewrite both functions and plug g into f. This gives us 4x squared minus 3, the same result we obtained before. In part b, we'll derive n of x equals g of f of x. Set up the workspace. Rewrite g of f of x using regular function notation. Replace f of x with x squared minus 3. We need to evaluate g at x squared minus 3 to continue. We know that g of x equals 2x. So g at x squared minus 3 equals 2 times x squared minus 3. The result is 2x squared minus 6. The answer is n of x equals 2x squared minus 6. We can also use a quick method to find the composite function. g of f of x means plug f into g. We write both functions and plug f into g. This gives us 2x squared minus 6, the same result we obtained before. In part c, we'll derive p of x equals f of f of x. Set up the workspace. We write f of f of x using regular function notation. Replace f of x with x squared minus 3. Before we can continue, we need to evaluate f of x squared minus 3. We know that f of x equals x squared minus 3. So, f at x squared minus 3 equals x squared minus 3 squared minus 3. The result is x to the power of 4 minus 6x squared plus 6.
The answer is p of x equals x to the power of 4 minus 6x squared plus 6. We can also use a quick method to find the composite function. f of f of x means plug f into f. Rewrite both functions and plug f into f. This gives us x to the power of 4 minus 6x squared plus 6, the same result we obtained before. In part d, we'll derive q of x equals g of g of x. Set up the workspace. Rewrite g of g of x using regular function notation. Replace g of x with 2x. Before we can continue, we need to evaluate g at 2x. We know that g of x equals 2x. So g at 2x equals 2 times 2x. The result is 4x. The answer is q of x equals 4x. We can also use a quick method to find the composite function. g of g of x means plug g into g. Rewrite both functions and plug g into g. This gives us 4x, the same result we obtained before. Using the composite functions derived in parts a through d, evaluate m at 3, n at 1, p at 2, and q at negative 4. Do the results match the answers in example 2? In part a, we derive the composite function m of x equals 4x squared minus 3. m at 3 equals 33. In part A of example 2, we evaluated m at 3 to get 33. The results match. The work for parts B, C, and D is shown. All of the results match.